Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I hope you are well. In this video, we'll talk about the shocking mystery of hypoxia. First of all, let's talk about hypoxia. What is hypoxia? Hypoxia is a condition in which the body or region of the body is deprived of adequate oxygen supply at the tissue level. Hypoxia may be classified as either generalized affecting the whole body or local affecting a region of the body. Although hypoxia is often a pathological condition, variations in arterial oxygen concentrations can be part of the normal physiology. Hypoxia differs from hypoxemia and anoxemia in that hypoxia refers to a state in which oxygen supply is insufficient, whereas hypoxemia and anoxemia refer specifically to states that have low or zero arterial oxygen supply. Hypoxia is where there is complete deprivation of oxygen supply is referred to as anoxia. Generalized hypoxia occurs in healthy people when they ascend to high altitude. At high altitude, the oxygen concentration in the atmosphere decreases. In simple words, when you travel by air or go to the space, there is less oxygen. The higher you go, the lower oxygen you get, right? Now, when oxygen level drops, the blood vessels in the lungs constrict. According to Wikipedia, Hypoxic Pulmonary Vasoconstriction 2019 Hypoxic Pulmonary Vasoconstriction HPV is a physiological phenomenon in which small pulmonary arteries constrict in the presence of alveolar hypoxia, low oxygen levels. Now, let's go back to 1400 years ago where the people could not travel by air nor they could travel to the space. In the Arabian desert, how is it possible that a man who couldn't read and write have mentioned this advanced scientific fact 1400 years ago and why? If that's not possible, then who could have told him? Maybe someone with ultimate knowledge of science. Exactly, that's what happened, creator of this complex world and universes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the all-knowing, told Prophet Muhammad وسلم, about this advanced scientific fact. In the Quran, those whom Allah wants to guide, he opens their chests to Islam, and those whom he wants to leave astray, he makes their chests tight and constricted, as if they are ascending to the sky. Such is the penalty of Allah on those who refuse to believe. He makes their chests tight and constricted, as if they are ascending to the sky. Today we know why our chest gets constricted, because lack of oxygen, no mistakes in the Quran. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known what gets constricted at high altitude? So that's it for today guys, if you find this video helpful then hit the like button and share this video to your friends and family. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. Amin. Barakallahu feekum. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum.